Hey people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Like the videos, share the videos with all your friends and family. Um, you already know who it is, it's Time London here, uh, bringing you another video. Um, in this video, I'm just going to talk to you guys a bit about things you should know before traveling to Uganda, before traveling to Kampala, Uganda here in East Africa. At the moment, I am in Uganda, I'm in Kampala, and I just wanted to make this video for you guys just to let you know a few things that you should know before flying out here, okay? And um, first things first, um, we'll start from the airport. Um, Uganda, depending on where you're traveling from, or I'm from Europe, I'm from England, so when, you, when you're traveling from Europe, uh, most likely you're gonna need a visa when you land here in Uganda, when you land at the airport at Entebbe here in Uganda. So you do need a visa. So they are, there's um, a few uh, different ways of attaining a visa. You can either uh, apply online before you travel and you can apply for your visa online. I've never done that before, but I hear it takes a few days. Um, I don't know how many days, maybe four, I'm not sure. So you can read up online on that. You can go on the uh, Ugandan Embassy website, I believe, to apply for the visa. So you can get your visa online, or if you want to, you can fly out here in um, to Uganda and attain your visa at the airport. So you can get your visa uh, uh, on arrival at Entebbe here in Uganda. Uh, depending on again, depending on where you're traveling from, um, normally. Um, the visa here costs around $50 so if you're coming from London from England we use pounds so it's 40 pounds um, and that's what I normally pay when I land here or if you're coming from you know a country that uses dollars like America or if you prefer to pay in dollars they normally prefer for you to pay in dollars here because sometimes when I come here at the airport and I've got pounds they always try to ask me to go and exchange pounds for dollars so that you know i can pay in dollars but i always insist and i tell them listen i'm cool with paying in pounds and i always pay 40 pounds now let's um stick to the visa for the moment because this time around um something did happen to me when i landed here uh, in uganda so like i said before normally when i travel here i never apply for my visa online i normally just fly out here and when i land here at the airport uh, to Entebbe airport, I normally just pay for my visa um, on arrival and they just stamp my, my passport and I'm good and I go on to collect my luggage. But this time around it was different because um, they've changed a few things around at the airport here in Entebbe and uh, I don't know if you guys or any of you guys who are watching going to see this video have noticed because um, because at the moment we're going through this whole situation with you know the the virus with the COVID thing. So a few things have changed at the airport. So before um, you just used to go to the visa stations, uh, you just come with your passport, you, um, you know, <clears throat> you present your passport, you pay the money for the, for the visa and you're good to go. They just stamp your passport and give you your visa at the same stations, right? But, <clears throat> excuse me, this time around, because of this whole COVID thing going on, they've changed a few things around so now what they do when you land here at the airport they've got a few different um, stations the first station you go to is where you pay um, and they give you a receipt but they don't actually give you the visa at that stop so you go to the first you know um, station you pay for your visa and they give you a receipt and then you go to the next station where you give them that receipt that the first uh, stop the, the first station gives you with your passport and to, to prove that you've paid for your visa and the next station that's when they stamp your visa and off you go right so this time around something did happen to me when i landed here at Entebbe. now like i said before the visa cost 40 dollars uh, i'm 50 dollars and i always pay in pounds which is 40 pounds right so i get to the airport and i go to the first station where i was supposed to pay for my visa you know, the lady asked me, um, okay, she tells me 50 something dollars, which was more than I usually pay when I land here, right? 
So I was skeptical and I asked her, why is it different this time? Why is the visa, why is the price gone up? And she said to me, well, um, she gave me some reasons. She said, that's the price now, it's gone up. What, um, I can't remember what she said, but I was, you know, I was tired. It was a long flight. So I said, okay, cool. If that's what everybody's paying, that's what I'm going to pay. Obviously, I don't want to be treated, you know, different to anybody else, you know. So I accepted and she told me it was going to be £55 or was it? No, £50 actually. So instead of £40, she said it's gone up to £50, which in dollars has gone up to £60, right? So now I was like, okay, cool. So I've paid for the visa at the first stop um, station. She's given me my receipt. And on the receipt, it says the price that I paid, which is £50. So I take my receipt to the second station with my passport. And as I get there, there are a few people waiting. Um, and I think they're in the same situation as me. And once I presented my passport with the receipt that showed that I've paid, um, the people in the second, um, at the second station, they, are, they looked at the receipt and they asked me how much money I paid for the visa. And I said to them, I paid £50. Um, which obviously translates to $60. So they told me that I've paid too much, that I've been overcharged. Yes, people, I was a little, I got a little, um, a bit scammed and I was overcharged for a visa. But the thing is, their colleagues told me the truth. They said to me, listen, you've been overcharged, same as these people here, you need to go back and get some of your money back. The visa is not that amount. It's not 50 pounds. The visa is 40 pounds, 50 dollars. So yes, people, I was slightly scammed this time when I came here to Uganda. So reason why I'm telling you guys this is um, um, this is why I make these videos for you guys so that if you will, if you you know are planning on coming here, it doesn't happen to you so that you know how much money you should be paying for the visa. I mean, you don't want to be scammed. You know, you're already, you want, you're coming on holiday or you're coming to see your family members. For whatever reason you're traveling, uh, you're traveling for, you want to be treated fairly. So that's what happened to me this time around when I came here, uh, landed at the airport. And um, so basically I was told to go get some of my money back because I was overcharged. So I had to go back to the first station and, you know, look into this lady's eyes again and she looked embarrassed because her colleagues from the second station they're the ones that were telling everybody else that was being overcharged to go back and get some of their money back so it was a bit embarrassing for the lady that was overcharging and yeah so i was supposed to get my money back but i said to her listen um i don't know why you felt like you have to overcharge me and all these people but it's not you know it's not fair you should really be doing your job correctly and not overcharging people but yes people i did let her keep the you know the money she overcharged me the extra 10 pounds i mean i came here in december and it was gonna be christmas so i said to her you know what it's okay just you know be fair to the people just don't do this um what you just did today come on follow the rules do your job correctly and you know don't overcharge people but i did let her keep the change and i said to her you know what I just need to get my visa so I can go get my luggage. It's been a long flight, you know, so yeah, that's what happened. So I let her keep the money, but you people, if you're watching this video right now and you're planning on coming to Uganda, do some research, you know, go online and um, search how much visas cost to come to Uganda. Or if you do know anybody who lives in Uganda, or if you know any Ugandan people who know people, you know, just ask so that you know and um yeah so that's why i make these videos for you guys do not let people overcharge you for things when you come to uganda don't let people scam you when you know just do a little bit of research and yeah watch some of my videos you know share them with people maybe this happened to somebody else you never know it could happen to you or your family members and friends and we don't want that happening you know so that's why i make these videos for you guys so that you know you learn a bit as you know you move you move around when i travel i try to make these videos for you guys so that you know you see what's going on in different places of the world so yeah guys i wanted to share that with you guys because that's what happened to me when i landed here in uganda this time i mean it's never happened before but this time around it did happen and fortunately their co the ladies colleagues 
were able to tell us, to tell me and the other people that, you know, we've been overcharged. So they were fair and they told us to get our money back. But yeah, so guys, I just wanted to make this video for you guys to let you guys know. Uh, so that next time, if you're planning on traveling to Uganda, to Kampala, when you get to Entebbe, you should know how much money you should be paying for your visa. Do some research online or better yet, if you've got time and you can apply for your visa online, go ahead and do so. Apply online. I'm sure the prices are fair online. Um, that way you won't be overcharged. I mean, that's what everybody I'm sure will be paying online when they apply for the visas. So yeah, that's what happened to your boy. And um, yeah, so I'm still here in Uganda. Um, and it's the 1st of uh, January, 2021. So before I end this video, I just wanna wish everybody a happy new year um, for, to you watching this and to your friends and family. Uh, stay locked, uh, more videos coming up. Um, like, like I've always said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you like all the videos and also share the videos, like I'm saying, this information is important, not only to you, to everybody else, okay? Peace.